Alright guys, first thing in Vietnam is that there are a lot of motorbikes, a lot of them. And most of the streets do not have stoplights. Crossing the street is like a game of Frogger. Just don't get hit and pray you make it to the other side. So based on Google guys, there are approximately 7.5 million motorbikes in Ho Chi Minh City. That's a lot. By the way, this city used to be known as Saigon and our Vietnamese adventure will start here in the south and afterwards to Hoi An, which is central Vietnam and then ending at North Vietnam and Hanoi. South to north, baby! And of course, when in Vietnam, the first thing we have to try is... Okay, so we are here at Pho Hong. This is supposed to be the number one pho place to come visit at Ho Chi Minh City. We're about to see which pho is better, the one back at home or the one here. Vietnam, come here. I got beef pho. So is it pho or pho? Pho, pho, pho. Party. So good. Now I can say that I've had pho in Vietnam. Cross that off my bucket list. Is this gonna change my life? Your will, Compo. Let's go try some Vietnamese coffee. This is nice. We're at the Trung Nguyen legend. Why is every place called Nguyen? Because 40% of Vietnamese last names are Nguyen's. What? In junior high school, my best friend, yep, he was Vietnamese and his last name was Nguyen. Ooh, they have coffee that gives you energy for connection, energy for creativity. Oh, I need that. This is gonna make me more creative. I hope so. Okay, you hope so. So by the way, Vietnam is a number two exporter in coffee right behind Brazil. How do you say thank you in Vietnamese? Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, that's strong. It's kind of like chocolatey, no? It's thicker for sure. Are the ideas flowing in? You know when I get creative, what? I start roasting people. Oh really? You're yep. so bad at singing that when you sing in the shower, the shower turns off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're so dumb that you studied for the COVID test. <laughs> Dad. You're so ugly that when people look at you, they call the police. Okay. If being ugly was a crime, you guys will get a life sentence. <gasps> hey! Your mama's so fat that she stepped on a scale and it said, To be continued. Because she's talking about me. <laughs> Don't be talking about mama. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're so small that when you see Michael Jordan or mommy, they look like a tall building to you. Oh. Okay, I ran out of uh, creative juice. I'm getting hungry. Let's get some banh mi sandwich. <laughs> All right, so we are here at Propaganda. It is a Vietnamese bistro. I heard this is the, one of the places to get your banh mi sandwich. Okay, guys, this is a banh mi. It's with a French baguette. We have meat and veggies in there. Mm, that's good. I love bread, so this is like 11 out of 10. That's really good. It's super good. Alright guys, I promise this is not a food vlog. Instead, we're doing a field trip. <gasps> field trip day! We're gonna learn about the Vietnam history and the Vietnam War tomorrow. Wow. Oh, someone's sleeping. I'm so tired because I ate so much. <laughs> And what does the O stand for? Oh my god, it's early!
today's agenda is learning about the history of the Vietnam War. But just a quick warning though, this might be a bit of a somber experience. Now to put the Vietnam War in context, in 1954, Vietnam was split into two parts, North and the South. However, North Vietnam wanted to reunite under communism, but South Vietnam, with the help of the U.S., fought to keep this from happening. As a result, this war was a huge cost to human lives. And eventually, North Vietnam claimed victory in 1975, creating a united communist country. We're starting off our tour at the Goosey Tunnel. All right, guys, if you hear that noise, those are the cicadas. I've never heard them this loud. So this dense jungle camouflages the simple but yet sophisticated Gucci tunnels dug by the communist guerrillas, a.k.a. the Viet Cong. No scary, no scary. Just so okay, yeah, you're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> it's going to pop out right here, guys. Nani! Nani! Wait, that was fast. <laughs> that was pretty fast. So these tunnels cover about 75 miles that are well equipped to house the Viet Congs and mount their surprise attacks and then disappear underground to safety. The tunnels were also a way to transport supplies and lay booby traps. Wow, this is so crazy. So these booby traps are everywhere. Now to combat against this, the U.S. would drop bombs, but were unsuccessful. So okay, this, this is the, what would happen uh, is the people would bomb. Crawling through these tunnels and even eating what the Viet Congs ate back then really put this war into perspective. This is how the Vietnamese soldiers survived back in the day by eating tapioca chips. Kind of tastes like peanut butter. So we're done with the Gucci tunnels. Now we're here at the War Remnants Museum. Okay, buddy. So we just finished touring the museum and it was a bit heavy. So we are leaving a little bit earlier than we anticipated and heading to do something lighter. We had to get away. So we just escaped. And what better way to cheer things up than to go on a hop on and hop up tour of the city. Like this behind me is the Saigon Central Post Office. This was designed by Gustave Eiffel, the same guy who designed the Eiffel Tower. And right in front of me is the cathedral. It's under construction, but it's a beautiful sight to see. So this is pretty cool. This is a whole street dedicated to just books. I've never seen this before. All right, guys, that was a lot of activities today. Food time. To a restaurant called the Secret Garden. Ooh. Oh, wow. Problem is, it's so secret, I don't even know where it is. So. Uh -huh. I know where it is. Hopefully we don't get lost. I find it. Okay, I think we're lost. I think it's right here. Secret garden. I'm following you. This looks very sketchy. Is this an apartment building? What the... This I hear plates. Oh. Oh, oh, shoot. 
That's a scary hallway. Dun dun dun. Do you smell it? Ratatouille! Ratatouille! Oh. Come here! Come here! Oh my goodness. Okay, not here. Come here! Stay tuned! There's something awesome, people. Oh. Four? Yeah, we need reservation. No reservation. Alright, it's alright. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Wow. This is nice. That was quite an interesting <laughs> entrance to the secret garden. Tomorrow we are flying out to central Vietnam to continue our Vietnam adventure.